Hello there, everybody! What is up? This is Reese or Brush Yet Cup, and welcome back to our Tech It Let's Play Adventure. As you can see, we're down here in the secret lab. And you guys have been demanding this one for so long now. You've been anxiously awaiting it, demanding it with, with fervent demands in the comments of the other videos. You guys have wanted it, so today we're finally going to do it. We're going to be making our red matter tools. So we've already got our dark matter tools down here. And uh, basically, we're just going to be transmer transmerting me, me. We're going to be changing those in to red matter tools. And uh, they gain some advantages by becoming red matter tools. Not that I, I really care what those advantages are. Because there's only one thing I'm interested in. And that is that is the combining of these, these different weapons. So let's see. We've got pretty much everything we need. And um, I still haven't cleaned this chest out. I guess I can go ahead and do that right. Well, we'll hang on to it. We might need some of that stuff. So let's take a look first. Let's do them in order here. So let's do the dark matter sword. We're going to be changing that into a red matter sword. There we go. So, two red matter, boom, boom, and our dark matter sword gives us red matter sword. Check that out. Alrighty. Now, we're going to go ahead and do the shovel, and so that's going to be one of those, one of these, and look at that. It's a good thing we held on to this dark matter. There we go. We got our red matter shovel, and I won't do any more weird sound effects. Uh, I'll stop there. Alright, so now we need a hoe, and uh, look at that. We need more dark matter. So it is a very good thing that I held on to that. Boom! We got ourselves a hoe. Uh, and I'll just leave it at that. Okay. Got our axe in here. Oh, wait, nope. That doesn't go there. What am I doing? There we go. We now have our red matter axe. Let's get the pickaxe up there. This is really simple and, and easy. Whoa, what's going on here? You guys catch that? What is this? What is going on? Boom! There we go, got our pickaxe. Let's clear all that out. Next up, we're going to have a hammer. Which needs one of those. A couple of these. And, of course, our dark matter hammer. And then last, and actually probably least as well, is the, uh, the dark matter shears, which I haven't really found to be that useful, but whatever. Uh, now the red matter shears, so hoorah. Alrighty, and now we just combine them to make the most powerful... Of all weapons. The red. Where is it? Bah. The red Qatar. And actually, let's just type red in here. And um, we're going to make the Morning Star and the Qatar. So let's make the Morning Star first. And that's going to be a combination of the hammer, the pickaxe, and the shovel. So let's get that in there. So hammer, pickaxe, and shovel. And then a bunch of redstone gives us the mighty red morning star. Ho, hey, ho. There's the music again. Okay, and then we're going to make a red guitar, which is a mix of the, the axe, the hoe, the sword, and the shears. It's a very odd combination, I think. Um, but whatever, you know, that's it's cool. It, it is whatever. So let's see, boom. I think that goes there. This goes up here. Sword goes up here. This is one of the most powerful weapons in the game. Maybe not the most powerful, but definitely one of the most powerful in the game. So there we go, guys. We now have pretty much the power to do anything we want to with these. And uh, let's go outside, and I will demonstrate. And let's go. Let's just, since it's nighttime, let's go ahead and take advantage of this by killing some spiders and seeing how powerful this thing really... Holy mushrooms. Oh, baby. Oh, come on. This is this is fun. Okay, so we're pretty much invincible with our quantum armor. We can pretty much one-hit anything we find out here. Dude, creepers? That's not a problem. We got our ring of arcana so we can just fly anywhere we want to. We can just kill anything we want to. Although, the server's bugging a bit, so it's it's not actually killing them. But hold on. Alright, let's, let's see what happens if we attack this guy. Yeah! Oh, this is, this is pretty sweet, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I... I'm liking this already, okay? But let me go ahead and uh, fly back to the the old house. The old deserted house. Let me get up on the roof here. Let me go grab my iPad, and we'll find out just what these weapons can do. Alrighty, we are back. It is daytime, and I will be reading to you from the techit.wikia.com slash wiki slash red underscore morning underscore star page. Um, okay, the, the page isn't in the address, by the way. The red morning star is a combination of a red matter... Hammer, 
A red matter pickaxe and a red matter shovel. Do you like my reading voice? This is what I use when I read to my nieces. Um, they like it. It retains their original abilities while also granting new, powerful functionality. It can also destroy wood-based items at high speed, but does not possess the red matter axe abilities. The Morning Star has four charge levels, increasing the charge level by pressing V. <laughs> Hoorah! Uh, and then, you know, Shift V turns it back down. So right-click functions. If we use it on gravel, it mines the entire vein of gravel. If we use it on ore, it mines the entire vein of ore. If we use it on stone, it excavates an area depending on the charge. So that's kind of like the hammer. Uh, on dirt and grass and sand, it excavates a flat area depending on the charge level. Does it? Okay. And that's supposed to work with right-click, it says. Did I say that earlier? Right-click functionality. Well, it isn't working. Maybe if we charge it up a bit. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so it does have to be charged. And uh, just so you guys know, I don't think I made this very clear in the last video. Using your weapons does not require EMC, like using any of the dark matter or red matter tools, unless you're using the special abilities like we just did there. So, just wanted to make that clear. And uh, thank you to whoever it was who pointed it out in the comments. Um, I'm bad at articulating certain aspects. Okay, and um, I think that's pretty much all there is to say about this one. Uh, when right-click functionality is used on stone, glass, or dirt, it will excavate everything inside the area, not just selected material, anything mined with this item, except for standard one-block mode, which I guess is this. Yeah. Um, blah, 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 blah. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Uh, the Red Morning Star does 20 damage, or 10 hearts of damage. Wow, so we can actually kill things with the Red Morning Star, too? Come here, piggy. Hey, sexy piggy. Huh. That's pretty convenient. Okay, moving on to the red guitar. Wiki page is loading. I'm now reading to you from the book entitled thetechit.wikia.com forward slash wiki forward slash red underscore guitar. And I don't know why I'm reading you the URLs. The red guitar is one of the red matter multi-tools. This is a different voice. I don't know if you could tell. It combines the functions of the Red Matter Sword, Red Matter Hoe, Red Matter Axe, and Red Matter Shears. You can kind of tell that this article was written by someone else. Uh, the Red Matter Omni Tools both have four charge levels. Okay, we already know that. Let's just get to effects. Okay. Left click while targeting a sheep. Our mushroom shears the animal and has a small chance of cloning the... What? I gotta find a sheep. I did not try that last time. I did not try that. Does, did the Dark Matter tools do that? I don't know, but I didn't try it. Where's that sheep that we sheared last time? He's still around. Great, and he's gotten his, he's gotten his wool back. Come here, buddy. I want to try something really fast. Okay. Now, hold on. It says left-click while targeting a sheep. Won't that just attack him? Okay, yes, it does attack him. But it also gives us wool. But it didn't clone him. Well, that stinks. Okay, we'll try it on another sheep if we come across one. We'll head toward town. There's normally a lot of animals grazing in the fields. Uh, let's see... Right click over a tree, it will chop the tree and the leaves in the area of the player. Um, is that also, that's with a right click? Maybe if I charge it? No, still, oh yeah, okay, yeah. There we go, that works. Alright, so we got that. Let's see what else does it do. Right click on grass, it will till the dirt and the AOE. So let's charge this up and try that real fast. Yep, there we go. Got rid of all the grass. That's nice. Okay, if we release charge on an entity, we'll do a death swing. So that release charge is supposed to be R. And now it's working with this weapon, but there's nothing around here for me to attack. Let's go try it with this guy. Hey, you. It is not working at all. It is just not doing anything. So, for some reason, it might just be my tech it being weird. Uh, AOE Death Swing. That's when I release charge. It's just not working for whatever reason. Oh well, not a problem. So there we go, guys. There's the Red Matter tools. I am I'm excited to have these. If you guys know of any other cool things you can do with them, put it down there in the comments. Aside from that, I mean, I'm just happy to have a really powerful sword now because creepy things go on down in the uh, in the underground, as you guys know. And it's it's nice to finally have a weapon to defend myself. Uh, you know, in case creepy things happen in the underground. Did I already say that? I feel like I'm I'm just repeating myself. 
Uh, let's just go ahead and throw all of this into the sorter. Which I need to remember to turn off. The whole reason I made the sorter was so I could turn it off. Why isn't this stuff going in? Uh, you know, whenever whenever I'm not here and it doesn't cause lag, and yet I just leave it running constantly. So maybe I'll remember to turn it off this time. Th th I don't know. But uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you Enderman. Enderman's on the other side of the wall. Where are they? Okay. We're going to go hunt the Endermans. We need some lights. Okay, hold on. This is the whole reason we made this stuff. Is so we can go hunt and not be afraid. So we can hunt and just be fearless warriors. And I need torches, and I got plenty of those. Let's go find this thing, and I'll just have to rebuild the wall later. Wall be darned. We're going, we're going monster hunting. All right. Let's see. Just keep Red Morning Starring our way through here. All right. Oh, I don't have an EMC in my inventory. I need to go get a... Uh, maybe that's why all the special things weren't working earlier. I didn't have my client star in my inventory, did I? That would explain things, wouldn't it? Where's my client star? Goodness gracious, it's gone. This would explain why like, I couldn't get hardly any of these special effect things to work. Because I didn't... Holy crud muffins, what are you doing down here? Get out of my... Get out of here. Hold on. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, let's find the client star really quickly. There it is. Now let's go try try this amazing AOE swing release attack thing. All right. Um, first, we've got to actually find those Endermen. There they are. Hello, you nasty little boogers, you. I'm invincible, and I'm here to destroy you! So come and attack me, and let me release charge! Release charge! Attack! Hey, it works! Okay, and if for some reason, mine is bound to F instead of R. But as you see, it, it worked. All I did was sit there and spaz that, and it killed them. So that's cool! It does work, you just have to have fuel in your inventory. I feel like I I should have realized that earlier. Let's leave, that, let's leave the lights on, and seal this back up. And, uh, hey, now you guys know that's there, so when the map is released, you can go find that little cave. But, okay, now we are done. Now we can start start the ending music again. And um, I'll talk a little bit to give the credits time to roll. And uh, maybe I'll show you guys what I've been doing over here. I, I kind of wanted to pretty things up a bit before the map gets released. So I kind of pretty things up in here a bit with this... I, I was... I don't know. I felt kind of awkward. I didn't know what to do with the ceiling or over here. I made this weird fountain thing. And, uh... I don't know, that's good. The lighting is doing good. You know, mo not many monsters spawn down here. I think I need, might need to set up some interdiction torches. And, uh, you know, keep monsters from, from coming around. Um, you know, headed back to the house here. You still got access to the house. Haven't really done anything in here yet. I haven't moved these over. I don't know if I will. I mean, they're still functional. And actually, the power pipe here actually still runs to the top of the house. So, did you guys hear something funny just then? Weird. Uh, so if you wanted to, you know, ring power back to the house, you could, in theory, just get some, uh, some, some coal in those engines and get them running, and you'll have plenty of power here to do whatever you want to. But yeah, it still comes up through the roof here, and actually, I think there's probably still juice. Maybe not in that bad box, but in some of the other ones. But it's okay, yeah, now we're officially done. I'm going to land here on the roof of the old, the old empty house. It's kind of sad, really. This is where everything started. This is where I began my ticket adventure, and here we are. 49, about to be 50 episodes later, and it's empty, save for some torches. Kind of makes you reflect on life. Liberty, pursuit of happiness, all that stuff. Alrighty, well, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.